Hi, I am Dr. Janaki Srinath, Senior Consultant Nutritionist. Uh, today I would be talking about uh, high protein supplements. Do we really need them? Uh, who needs it and how much of protein should we consume on a day-to-day -day basis? Today, uh, we are all um, looking out for ideal body composition or increasing muscle strength, muscle mass. Everybody talks about hitting the gym or getting a six-pack uh, body. And invariably, if somebody walks into a gym or trying to eat healthy and in, uh, doing the exercise, the first uh, recommendation comes is to take protein supplements or protein shakes. Yes, protein is important, but each one of our protein uh, intake varies. So, how much of protein uh, actually is required? In a, for a normal person, it is required in the range of 1 gram per kg body weight. But if you are trying to increase your muscle mass or increase your uh, body uh, change your body composition to more muscular or you are into sports or endurance training your requirement could any be anywhere between 1.5 to 1.7 grams per kg body weight is it compulsory to take protein supplements not always and not in the huge quantities as recommended it is better first you analyze and uh, check your diet if it is uh, wheat based and if it is having uh, protein options like uh, chicken or soya nuggets or eggs milk and milk products in sufficient quantity probably you are taking good amount of protein but due to lifestyle changes and uh, due to certain or vegetarianism if sufficient amount of protein cannot be incorporated into your diet yeah, at that time protein supplements can be taken but with a word of caution because sometimes these protein supplements give you up to 23 grams of protein per, per portion sizes. So you have to always remember how long are you going to take this, what is the total quantity of protein per day you are consuming. Protein definitely high biological value protein has a role in changing body composition or uh, helps in the path to have a good muscular body but it has to be done only with appropriate exercise and uh, resistance training simply taking more protein may not be the answer uh, depending wholly on the protein supplements without really looking into our dietary sources also is not good analyze your diet consult a nutritionist uh, calculate the protein and see at what level of protein supplementation you require also when you are buying the protein supplements make sure it is a, of a good brand and uh, also learn into uh, are there any other ingredients which are present along with the protein in that particular protein supplement so watch out uh, look out for natural uh, uh, protein options which are easily available like eggs or uh, na uh, soya milk natural uh, some nuts uh, uh, low fat cheese slices homemade paneer, tofu, all these do not add the huge load of workload on your kidneys um, if you are uh, sometimes have a risk to develop uh, developing such a disease. But on a long term lifestyle issue comes when you are changing your body type and if you want to continue to maintain the same kind of muscle mass in the long run, changing the dietary habits will be helpful. But if you are looking at only a non-vegetarian options of uh, including the portion, portion uh, please be watchful about how you are cooking and uh, um, what other components, you, uh, healthy components you are including so that you do not end up with the risk of high cholesterol levels. E madhya blood pressure ki guriya wala sankhya chala ekko peripotundi. Yukta vayas nunchi middle aged valu 
స్త్రీలు అంటే మిడ్ అందరికీ కూడా ఈ ప్రాబ్లం అనేది ఎక్కువైపోతుంది ఒక్కోసారి ప్రెగ్నెన్సీలో కూడా బ్లడ్ ప్రెషర్ ఎక్కువ కన్ ఎక్కువ అవడం 